Hey guys, it's Fraser. I'm here with Josh Morbido, the illusionist. I've known this guy for some time. Um, some of you may have seen him on Australia's Got Talent. Um, this guy's a man of many wonders, but uh, we're gonna cut his hair today and interview him. So, ready to go, Josh? Thanks, man, I'm ready. What made you want to be an illusionist? I, look, when I was young, I got given a magic set. It was cool. I would show my friends at school. And I did a, I actually did a magic show when I was in grade five. Yep. And um, I had a whole bunch of kids watching in the school library. And I just, I remembered one trick from that set that I would just only do that one thing at parties. No, I like, only would do one thing. And then when I was 19, I got casted to be on this TV show as a robot for this TV show called K9. It's like a spin-off of Doctor Who. Yep. And that's not really relevant, but um, when you're on a TV set, there's so much downtime where you're just doing nothing. Yep. And I would start showing this card trick to all of the crew. And after like two days, I'd shown everyone that yep. one thing. And then I went to try to find more people to do it to, and the same people came back and said, well, what else can you do? And um, then I was like, oh crap, I actually don't know anything else. So then I started to look for um, books and material where I could learn more sleight of hand and things like that. Yeah. And then I just started to go down this massive rabbit hole of wonder, we call it. And now, yeah, just been doing it ever since. Do illusionists ever reveal their secrets? Uh, yes, for the right price. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, it's way more fun not knowing yeah. as much as you want to know. Um, whether that be that the method is like simple or like depressing when you realize how much effort they've gone through to do something. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's just more fun to keep that mystery, I think. Do you have any favorite tricks or illusions that you've done? Yeah, I um, had to make a car appear for BMW. It was the second most difficult challenge I've ever had to do because we couldn't have an actual theater stage. We had to use Eat Street Markets, which is just an outdoor setting. Yep. And we had to use a shipping container that they had. So we couldn't trick out our own fake container. We had to use a real container that was there. Yep. And somehow make this, you know, two-ton BMW appear uh, for all their guests on opening night of this launch. Wow. And we did it, but um, very stressful. Good feeling. Afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Once the car came out and everyone was applauding and stuff, then I was okay. Uh, have you ever used magic or illusion to get you out of trouble, whether it be the police or your parents or something like that? Well, at home, I can get out of trouble <clears throat> with my girlfriend uh, because I can palm objects that she doesn't want to see me having, like an extra Tim Tam or uh, <laughs> whatever. I can just hide it in such a way slide that... Slide of the hand, eh? Yeah, slide of hand, um, slide of sweets. That's awesome. Have you, have you ever done a trick that's ever gone wrong? One of the first stage shows I, I'd ever done, and I actually had an, I had an egg in my pocket that I was gonna do for a, an illusion halfway in the show, and I accidentally broke the egg like three minutes into the show. So now I have a raw egg in my jacket pocket, and it's broken, and it's starting to seep through, and I had to take it off quickly. Luckily, the audience didn't know it had broken, uh, but I had to take the jacket off and now do the rest of this hour show with no jacket. So I had to take out anything that required the jacket, like taking things out of my pocket or whatever. Yep. Um, but these days, yeah, the key to not having that happen is just lots of rehearsal. So besides the obvious that you're very talented at what you do, oh, do you sorry. have any hidden talents that any I don't know talent? about or no one else would know about? So I did gymnastics all through high school. At the end of my gymnastics, I started getting into break dancing which also then changed to tricking, which is like parkour, and then also hip hop dancing, which is like through the break dancing. So yeah, I'm always trying to infuse my gymnastic abilities into like more acts of mine in yep. magic, because it's certainly something that is different to other performers. Besides magic, what is one thing in life that you can't live without, whether it's an object or something like that? What's one thing you just couldn't live without? I always need something in my hand, like whether it's a coin or cards or something, like I'm always fiddling, fiddling with something. Yep. I always need to have kind of something to occupy my hands. Awesome. And, uh, In the least seediest way possible. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever used magic to pick someone up? Like levitate? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like to pick up a, a, pick a, up, a, a girl. Uh, or only, only my girlfriend. Your girlfriend? Yeah, yeah. When we met, at the time I wasn't doing magic full time yet. 
Um, this was like eight years ago, and I worked at a fitness club. I was her boss. I had prepped this really sweet magic effect that I knew would come up at some point. And um, so I had her sign a playing card, put it in the deck. Then she blew a kiss to this deck, and then on the back of one card was a Hershey's Kiss picture, like within the card. Yeah. Flipped it over, it was her card, and then I held out that single card to her hand, and it, I popped out the real Hershey's Kiss that it, now the picture had gone from her wow. side card. And that, and that was it. That was it, <laughs> sealed, sealed yeah. and deal, eh? Yeah, I both got a girlfriend and retired that trick in the same day. <laughs> That's awesome. And she obviously fell for it. Yeah, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> if you could choose a superpower for a day, what would it be and why? Anything. Other than the ones I possess already? Yes, because I believe that you're not actually an illusionist, that you actually have superpowers. <laughs> yeah. Because the stuff you do blows my I, look, I think teleportation would be awesome. Yep. I was going to say telekinesis and that just fell down. That would have been the best thing ever if I had timed that. Wow. That's what I was thinking. I was like, telekinesis where you can move stuff. Far out, I wish that happened in that moment. <laughs> oh man, that would have been so good. Um, because telekinesis was the other thing, like where you can move objects with yep. your mind. But when I watched X Men, and the there's this guy called Nightcrawler. When he teleports, he it's, it's like, like a like cloud smoke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yep. that looks sick. So like either that or being able to move stuff with your mind. Well, that would be pretty cool to insane. start one of your shows, and they're like, "Come on, on Josh," and you're nowhere, and the next minute it's like, and you're there. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be pretty, be pretty cool. Absolutely. Yeah. It would make that BMW car appearance so much <laughs> less stressful too, I can imagine. 100%. A good thing that I've probably always noticed about you, doesn't matter what can be going on or what you're going through, you've always got such a positive attitude. <laughs> how would you like, how do you feed that or maintain that? When, you, when your job is to show off at parties for a living, it's hard to not enjoy that. So it's never like I've had a crappy day at work or something like that. I'm normally, I just, I guess I don't have a lot to complain about is what I'm saying. So if you could switch lives with someone for a day, mm. who would it be and why? Anyone in the world, even me. I mean, it would be quite interesting to be you for a day. I think people would notice pretty quickly. <laughs> However, anyone, look, I want to know some secrets. Like, you know, it's got to be someone like the president or. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Like Someone that. that has access to stuff we don't know. Do you have any quotes that you live by day to day to keep you motivated or? Don't wish that it was easier, wish that you were better. So when you can't do something, don't be like, it's so hard, why is it so hard to do this? Yeah. It's rather, why aren't I better at being able to do this? Yep. Does that make sense? That does. So, like, so if I can't- Practice makes perfect? Yes, yeah, yeah, essentially. Yeah. Like, yeah. instead of getting angry that something's too hard, you should be angry at yourself for not being good enough to do it. Yeah. No, that's cool. Would you be able to teach us a quick trick for cameras, people at home? No. I can show you something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can do some magic for sure. Can I have your, your comb? Yes. Show the comb. So I'll just do this for the camera. Um, I assume the camera can see here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, well, I can see myself. All right, here we go. Comb, watch closely. One, two, three. So for you guys watching on the back, you can't see anything happening, but what essentially happens is the comb disappears and reappears for a split second. And it's a little party trick that normally you would do with a straw. So you would have a straw and you would make the straw appear or disappear. But so all you have to do is you do this action with your straw or your comb. And when it gets to your forearm, you let it go and just move your arm up in the same motion, but it's here. And then as you come back around again, you grab it back again, like that. So in, in fast motion, it looks like that. So like this. Wow, that's so cool. So it's not like a massive miracle, but it's something that will get people's attention. I was kind so, of hoping that you could maybe strip 10 kilos off me real quick. I can do magic, not miracles. Okay, cool. Okay. We'll um, keep cutting. <laughs> <laughs>